Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this dynamic light tutorial. Now this is going to be a long one, it's going to be very quick. So what I'm going to be focusing on is the lights. The fact that obviously the shadows do not move but the objects do because we've animated the texture in a previous, uh, we animated the foliage in a previous tutorial. But we don't want to make the lights completely dynamic. So what you, what you could do as a solution is you could go up here and you can click onto a movable light. Uh, but you don't really want to be doing that for the entire environment. So what you can do as a very quick solution is just go down, uh, select the light, scroll down, and you will find an option for dynamic shadow distance stationary light okay so you can actually um, control at what distance you can see there is as I scroll that can you see how it how it changes obviously don't go too far because what will happen is it's like it's like a focus have a little play until every single tree from zero just slowly go over to the right until you see a value that makes all of the shadows nicely so something like that would be perfect. Okay, so let's go and test that quickly. There we go. Now you can see just how much that adds to the environment. We've got dynamic shadows, which look really cool, and it just makes your environment just feel more real. Fantastic. Okay, so that brings this video to an end, guys. We've got the dynamic lights working um, on the foliage in this room, and uh, yeah. In the next video, we're going to be looking at some ambient sound, so I'll catch you next time.